I did text her the night before when I realized I was stranded until stepdad picks me up, but she never responded. I replay what stepdad said in my mind, and the insinuation suddenly becomes clear. My eyes widen and I nearly ask him if mom and her colleague are sleeping together. I stop myself just before saying that and instead say, a little lamely, Well, she'll be home soon enough. He doesn't answer and I feel a pang of sympathy for him. I feel another pang right after that as I regard his handsome appearance. His tailored suit is not enough to hide the powerfully sculpted body underneath, and I feel a strange urge to run my hands all over that body. Wow, gratitude does strange things to me, apparently. We go to the hotel and he checks us into our new room. We go upstairs and drop off our luggage, and I notice that instead of the single king-sized bed in my room from the night before, this room has a double bed. I have no idea why that disappoints me. Okay, that's a lie. I know exactly why that disappoints me. For some reason, I'm so turned on by my stepdad right now that I can barely contain myself. He takes me shopping for comfortable clothes to sleep in, and I resist the urge to ask for a lacy, see-through nighty instead of the modest pajamas he buys. We return to the room and shower separately, and I once more have to repress a powerful urge to join him in the shower. 